Hey YouTube, today we'll be getting NSOD. Now, I actually don't have NSOD, so I'll be getting it as I go along with the guide, and let's see how it goes. So first off, if you're a non-member, I would just not recommend doing this uh, quest at all. It's just not worth it. There are plenty of other 50% weapons that are easy to get and better. But if you are a non-member and you really want to do this, uh, first of all, you want to do the daily every day, which gives you 50 void auras, and you know, it's really important. And if you're not going to do that, then you want to do the retrieve void auras. As you can see, this is going to take a while. All these monsters, and uh, you got a 1 in 3 chance of getting one of these, which is like 10 times less than the daily. So I'd recommend just doing the daily every day and logging in to do that. And to do this quest, remember you can click on this NPC, fast travel, and go to all these areas extra quick. Now, if you remember, I'd recommend doing what I did, and that was just doing these two dailies, the non-member one, and the member one and that gives you 150 every single day now i want to show you just how easy it is to do these two dailies every day okay first of all we're going to go to slash join uh, void flibby and as per usual there are a bunch of people here so we're just going to farm it with them and get our first kill all right easy peasy first try let's ask anyone if they want to do ice wing because that's kind of tough and coincidentally someone asked at the exact same time as me all right let's say which room we want to go to okay disagreement Right, we're going to slash join Ice Storm Arena. All right, we're here with this person. Let's invite them to the party. Okay, let's make sure everyone has the right classes. Uh, I have Legion Revenant, Arch Paladin, Arch Paladin. One of them should switch. All right, this looks good. We're going to wait for the Arch Paladin to use the debuff. Or whatever, it seems we've started. This is what happens when the Arch Paladin doesn't use their debuff. Oh my god, what is he doing? Alright, we're back in it, we're back in it. As you notice, I make the plays disappear sometimes. Let's click the letter N on my keyboard and they disappear. Alright, and we're done. We've got the facial pinion, the flip to ligaments. Now, time to get a Hydra. Level 90, of course, and I'm going to use Void High Lord just because, uh, you know, I don't want to die here. Alright, so we got all three Hydra eyeballs. Time to do the other quest slash join Ancient Trigress. Until this room fills up, let's check out slash join Grave Challenge. And someone is here. Let's help them out. Alright, this person refused to switch class, so we're just going to have to avoid hide all of this. Yeah, this is the issue with people not cooperating. So they're using a class to solo it, I'm using a class to solo it. I mean, there's a full dodge class, but it's slow as hell. So yeah, you can kill this by either using a dodge class or by cooperating with someone and both using support. Alright, let's see if we want to do Trigress. Alright, so we're going to use a... Void High Lord. Alright, so... They're using uh, Lord of Order, we'll use VHL, this should be Breeze. Alright, so we've got 2 out of 3, and this new guy just joined, but we're going to farm an extra time uh, just for this guy, because that's just the right etiquette. If someone helps you farm this monster, you got to help them farm the rest of theirs. And look, we've got 5 people here now, so this thing should be super easy now. Okay, and finally we do the Chaos Kraken. And now we can finally turn in both our quests, and after about 50 days of membership, you can have 7500 Void Auras just from dailies, which is super easy. I did farm SDKA, which is super useful for this, but I actually never used the quest even once. Now, if you did end up farming SDKA, you can do this quest and you can get a bunch of Void Auras much easier than the non-member way. If you want to accept this quest, go to slash join Shadow Realm Past, and here you want to kill these monsters and uh, they'll drop the empowered essences and you'll use this to turn it in for the quest. And you can get the malignant essences by killing the shadow lord here. Oh, and completely ignore this quest if you remember. It's much better to just get Sepulchre's Doom Knight armor and do commanding shadow essences. So you want to make sure you have four bariums and this is a daily quest so make sure you do this early. Alright, so over here you want to click on Artix, uh, 
metal enchantments, minecrafting, and you want to get the barium. You can get two per quest. You accept it, and you go to slash join stalagmite. And over here, you just kill these balboas until they drop uh, the raw ores and axe of the prospector. And after two days, you can turn this in for about four bariums. Now we have 7,500 void auras, and we have four bariums. And if you've been doing the daily every day, you should also have about four scroll of dark arts by now. Next, we're gonna go, we're gonna go to slash join sepulcher battle, and here we're gonna kill sepulcher until we get the doom heart. All right, and we finally got doom heart. It actually only took 20 minutes, surprisingly, uh, thanks to the help of these people. And items already in my bank because I am an actual idiot. Wow. Let me just double check that the game's not bugging. Oh my god, it was in my bank the whole time. Hopefully the stacks. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know, at least we only spent 20 minutes on it. Okay, now that we have the Doom Heart, we can actually try getting some here corrupted hourglasses. Okay, so we got our first hourglass. Only 30 more to go. So this took me about like 20 minutes to do. Uh, thanks to the Demire Guild. Uh, but if I had no one helping me, it would have taken absolutely hours. So make sure to get a good group of people to help you with this and kill it in like a second. Okay, next you want to get two Primark kills by killing Colossal Primark and Slash Boss Challenge. And I actually have it in my bank already. Um, I'm just going to transfer that into here. Okay, next we go to slash join chaos crypt, and we're going to get some blade essences from this place. And this is pretty easy to kill monster. Uh, it shouldn't be too tough getting it. It just has a low drop rate. And our second blade essence dropped, and we're done here. And we are very close to being done. We only need to get the cavern celestite or something. Yeah, we need some cavern celestites. We have 99 right now. In total, we're gonna need 1,600. Let's go to slash join battle under C. Quest, soul searching. So here we go. First, we walk all the way down here. And we kill this, and then we go to slash room battle under C, as we just typed in. We're going to add in a few numbers, so we go to a different room. And we go to battle under B. And we kill this. Then we type that in again, but with a B after it. Now we go through this room. And we can turn this in for 10 satisfites. And repeat the process again until we have 1,600. So you do this quest 160 times. Well, wish me luck. Okay, so I finally finished farming 1,600 Celestite from Soul Searching. Now, this would have taken me a lot longer, but thankfully, I used a bunch of alt accounts to go where I need them to, and I'd go to them for each monster. Anyways, next up, we're gonna need 5,100 Bone Dust and 10,000 Undead Energy. Let's go to Battle Under B. And this is going to take a while, but it shouldn't take too long as bone dust is pretty easy to get. And we're finally done with bone dust farming with 5,100 bone dust and 10,000 undead energy. All that's left now is to merge it all together. Because first of all, I'm going to get everything out of my bank. Uh, the Celestite. The Doom Heart. Uh, the Void Aura. And I think I've got all the main stuff. Alright, so to get the NSOD, first we're going to want to do this quest. Accept. And we're going to need a Barium of Doom. So shop. Let's buy four. And turn this in. And let's also get a hilt. Bones from the Void Realm.
And finally, I've done it. I have it all. After 10 years of playing this game, I have this sword I thought that was impossible to get. And it's done. I mean, it is my second 50% uh, damage weapon. I already have EA. But this is different because it, ju it just says, okay, it's better. I can finally quit AQW. I did the final grind. And nobody asked me about Archmage, but this is all that matters. NSOD, it's finished. I mean, now that I've done this, my next realistic options where I'm going to farm are probably Archmage or um, some better enhancements like Elysium or um, the Valiance. But yeah, that's it, I guess. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.